gas trucks and and damage. Um, and uh, when I talk about that, I mean like here's one that's broken, and broken, wounded. All right, so uh, <clears throat> we'll go through. Uh, let's let's start with the middle one here. The middle one is my Hot Bodies uh, D413, and uh, this was a kit that I built. Uh, bought it from a friend of mine, um, and what broke on this one was uh, that the spur gear uh, stripped out. Uh, the spur gear. Somebody had sold him this uh, Exotech uh, spur gear, but in order to install it, you need to have the aluminum uh, piece that will screw to it. So I cannot fix this yet. Um, this truck is absolutely crazy with these wheels on it. Um, it'll do wheelies, it'll do, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, and it's not meant for that. It's, it's a racer, so you know. Um, but anyway, I have parts coming for this, and um, once those parts get here, um, we're going to go put it together. Um, if you'd like to see uh, me put this together when it's the parts get here, um, I'll definitely do that for you. Um, so I'll leave that question. In the comment box um, of whether you want to see me put this uh, D413 together or not. Um, all right, the uh, Low C Rock Ray. Uh, Low C Rock Ray has been really good. Um, first thing I heard about it was steering servo, but what I've been having a problem with is uh, the front and rear differential. So. On the front differential, what I have coming for this one are uh, aluminum carriers for it instead of the uh, um, plastic that comes with it um, for the front and the rear. Okay, um, the aluminum carriers, what that will do is it will um, prevent uh, the screws from backing out, like uh, what's been happening. Um, now I've already upgraded this to the hot racing front uh, uh, axles and uh, I have not upgraded the drive shaft yet but uh, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to have to um, especially if I run this on a 4 cell. If you want to see a video on that let me know. Um, I will definitely go through it all with you. Um, it's been a great truck otherwise. Uh, Except for, uh, you know, my little mistakes I made, uh, I decided to lock the front and rear center all together and uh, that does not work unless you're crawling and um, this truck was not built for crawling. So, I also have uh, new rims coming for this and uh, with those rims, where are they? I have these tires. Now, <clears throat> It comes on the low C rock rate our tires a lot bigger really here's here's the original you can see they're a lot bigger and it really um, raises the center of gravity up so um, it tends to tip a lot easier so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do away with these I'll use these on something else uh, most likely on the wraith or something uh, but uh, when the new rims come in, um, they can be mounted on here, and they're, as you can see, about the same size of these uh, for a little bigger. All right, <clears throat> so on to the Emax. The Emax is the first hobby grade truck I ever bought. Now, um, whether it was the right choice or not, I don't know. Um, there was uh, at the hobby store that was open at the time um, gave me you know I had a choice I could either buy the Max or I could have bought the X Max the you know six cell version. Thinking back, I probably should have spent a couple hundred dollars more and just got the X Max. 
Um, the good thing about the Emacs is that as long as they make uh, E-Revolt um, original 1.0 version uh, parts for this, uh, I can rebuild this. Um, they don't, well, then I'm kind of out of luck. So, let's take the body off, and we're going to go through some of the upgrades I've done in what has uh, passed and what has failed. Alright, so, <clears throat> the axles. The axles, I've tried several different brands. Uh, this one on uh, your right uh, would be an Intergy axle. Uh, the one on your left would be uh, Traxxas uh, uh, performance axle. The performance axle has actually performed pretty well. Uh, the Intergy, I have uh, sheared pins, um, all that, and uh, had nothing but problems. Um, I have busted the uh, front differential uh, probably twice. Uh, the rear differential, I can't count. <clears throat> so, with that, as we flip this thing over, and probably a bunch of dirt will fall out of it, what I've got here are uh, RPM um, arms, and uh, yeah, I, I do need to rebuild the shocks again. Um, and I have this uh, these uh, uh, frame supports, I can't remember where they came from. Um, but the only reason why I bought those, and as you can see, a lot easier now, um, is because when the truck would wheelie, it would have a lot of frame twist. So, <clears throat> in order to eliminate the frame twist, I put these uh, frame rails in. Okay, um, that was probably the first uh, upgrade I did on this was these frame rails skip plate. Um, second would have been the uh, drive shafts right here, here and here, um, because I kept breaking them. The mistake I made there was I most likely should have stuck with the plastic um, because the more aluminum I put on here, the heavier the truck gets and uh, the more, more things break, you know. So, Anyway, I made that mistake and I, uh, you know, I learned from it, I think. <laughs> uh, but whenever you have a fast truck, I mean, you're going to be breaking something. So, um, whether it's uh, drive shaft, drive line, spindle, um, you're going to be breaking something. The faster it goes, the more it's going to break. Um, so that's the reason why I stick more to uh, crawlers. Uh, I don't do so much of the uh, uh, fast trucks on my channel. Um, the fast trucks, it doesn't mean I'm not going to, uh, but the fast trucks uh, tend to break a lot and um, the crawlers do not. Um, I've upgraded the shocks, all eight. Um, and I bent them uh, because uh, you know I was bashing so hard, that, um, and because this thing will run so damn fast on on a four cell, and you, know, you put it on a six cell, I mean it's just crazy. Um, anyway, I crashed so many times that, um, as you can see on the front, I got a I got a broken rod end on the uh, one of the shocks. Uh, and I keep blowing them out. And that's because uh, I run it so darn hard. And that, and you know, if you look at the whole thing, you can see that the alignment is off here. That's, that's because every time I uh, land or land wrong, um, it throws the alignment off. Other than that, it's been a great truck. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I was living in the city when I bought it. And now I live moves semi country, and um, I have a lot more room to run. Um, it's still a lot of fun. Um, 
I don't run it as much because parts aren't as readily available as they used to be. Um, that'd be the reason why I still have the original body right here. Um, I just keep trimming the parts off the end of it, you know, as you can see. But it's still a lot of fun, right? And let's see, what else have I upgraded? Oh yeah, I went with the aluminum front bumper and rear and rear bumper right here. Um, you can't see underneath the skid plate. Put the twin hammers up here. You can actually the floor. And the other one. Alright, so I have the low C tenacity on my right, your left. Um, I bought, when I got this, it had a broken chassis. I have replaced the chassis and uh, run it into God knows what. And it's still rolled. Um, I have no idea how or why it broke, but um, it had to have been one tremendous crash. Because this thing right here, this chassis is super strong. And I noticed that on uh, line that these uh, chassis go out of stock quite a bit. So <laughs> a friend of mine that I got this from could have been the only person to have a problem with it. Anyway, this thing on a three cell is insane. Yeah, it looks like I have a rip out of my tire. It is insane. It is uh, lightning fast. Okay. Um, the twin hammers. I have to rebuild my shocks again. I rebuilt this. You guys may have remembered me doing that. Um, anyway, uh, this thing is not broken yet. Um, I may be jinxing myself by saying that, but it is not broken yet. Um, it is super fast. Uh, super hard to control on a three cell and uh, it just screams. I did a video on this uh, earlier about whether it can crawl or not and um, you, you know given uh, very small uh, modifications to the programming and the um, uh, ESC um, and it did, did pretty good. I mean it had Virtually no no uh, drag brake and I, I didn't program it with enough drag brake, but it did pretty well and it did pretty well with a, a locked rear differential right here Leaving the front open Okay, uh, a lot of people have said that you need to lock the front and rear except for In this particular instance uh, I want to do some bashing too Okay, so if you're going to do any bashing, my recommendation is not to lock the front. Um, go ahead and lock the rear, like I did in the Emacs. Uh, made all the difference. Um, you know, you don't have the frame twist. Uh, I mean, this thing doesn't do wheelies. It, it also needs shocks rebuilt again. Um, and that's all. That's one of those things about uh, fast trucks. You can end up rebuilding the shocks a lot. Okay, and you may end up having to put thicker oil in because, you know, depending on your driving style, and mine is basically floor it all the time, um, your driving style may have a lot to do with um, how your shocks hold up. So you may have to put like, like I put stock oil in here, and uh, I may need to put um, something thicker in, okay, um, only because the way I drive. Um, the same thing with here. I probably wouldn't have the differential problems if my driving style was different, but it's not. So there you go. Anyway, so back to the tenacity. This thing has been like bulletproof. I mean, it has done. It has gone through so much. Um, I'm actually thinking about taking the tires off of the uh, uh, D413 and put it on here and see how it does. If anybody would like to see that, let me know. I'd like to hear your comments, and I always answer. So, anyway, this is RC Mechanic saying, you know, if you have a fast truck, prepare to be fixing it. 
um, if you have a fast truck, uh, don't be discouraged. I mean, really, you'll run it, you can run them a really long time and uh, without breaking them. If you have the right truck um, and you drive it right, I mean, they'll run a long time. Um, just watch out for sticks in the yard. <laughs> sticks in the yard will get you every time. So, it's RC Mechanics saying, if you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. Hit that bell so you can see more. And um, until next time, uh, go outside and do something, even if it's right. <laughs> I was going to say wrong, but it should be right. Thank you, guys and gals.